What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm. So today we are going to take the first steps towards a project that I have been talking about for quite some time now. Out here in my sugar shop, out here in the barn, where I do my maple syrup production, we are going to be building a walk-in cooler. Now there's going to be a whole separate video series that I'm planning on doing. It's going to be just about building the walk-in cooler. Today, like I said, we're going to be taking the first steps towards it. What we are going to be doing is we are going to be cutting a bunch of styrofoam that is going to be the insulation inside of the cooler. And what Dad and I have done is we have come up with a way to cut the styrofoam that will be completely mess-free. Now, you might be wondering why we didn't just go ahead and purchase some insulation or some styrofoam that we weren't going to have to cut, but insulation is really expensive. So, if you've watched a lot of some of the other content that I have on the channel, you know that my dad and I, we are all about a good deal. And there is not a better deal than free. So I don't know if I have ever met anybody who has better luck than my dad at finding free stuff. And it probably has a lot to do with he's just always asking. Um, so he was able to find all of this styrofoam. And this is what we are going to use to do the first layer of insulation inside of the cooler. I've been doing some research and now styrofoam has an R value of four to five per inch. So inside the studs, we're gonna have about three and a half inches because it's framed with two by fours. So that is gonna give us somewhere between 12 and 15 R value with just our first layer of free styrofoam. Now, the components to put the cutter together are over at dad's house. So I am gonna go ahead and load a couple of these up. I am gonna head over there and we'll put it together, we'll test it over in his shop, and then I'll be able to bring it all back here and put it together. Uh, for some reason, and I guess it's not too terrible of a thing, but Amazon is never able to find my house, so I don't even try to get stuff ordered here. I usually just get it ordered over there. They're not too far away from me, so I'm gonna load some of these up, head over there, and we'll see you guys in just a second. And real quick, just to show you guys before I head out, it's quite a bit of styrofoam, so. I'll, uh, I'll let Dad give you the details on where he found it and how we got a hold of it. So, see you guys over at his shop. All right, so I made it over here to Dad's shop. We're going to go ahead and start putting this thing together. But uh, Dad, why don't you go ahead and... Uh, I was telling him a little bit earlier about where you found this stuff. Why don't you go ahead and tell him about where you found it? Well, I found it at Tractor Supply. Uh, something I always tell Stephen is, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. So I went, into, sir, I went into Tractor Supply and asked them, what are you going to do with those styrofoam blocks? And they said, well, sometimes we ship them back. But do you want them? And I said, absolutely. So we picked them up and we're going to use them for Steven's walk-in freezer. So, don't be afraid to ask. If you don't ask, the answer is going to be no. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this car battery and this nichrome wire to build a jig that we're going to be able to use to cut the styrofoam. Now, nichrome wire is the sort of wire that you would have in like a heating element, like inside your toaster, like the wavy wires that you see inside of your toaster. That would be nichrome wire. So since nichrome is a high resistance wire, when we run the electric through it, it will not melt or short circuit like a copper or an aluminum wire would. So as a proof of concept, we built this little small, this little mini version of it, just to make sure that this was going to work the way we thought it was going to. So you see we have these two studs here that we have wing nuts on that are going to allow us to adjust the depth of our wire. And then on this side we have a spring. When the wire gets hot, it will expand and it'll contract. So if we did it taut to the studs on either side, there's a good chance that it could break. In your toaster oven, or in your toaster, you know, you've probably noticed that the wire is wavy. That's because the wire is going to expand and contract. So that's how they account for that in your toaster. And you can see when we hook this up... you can see it getting red hot. So now that we have the proof of concept at the small scale, we're gonna go ahead and build a jig for it. 
and make a bigger one that will be able to take the styrofoam and slide it right through. We'll be able to use those wing nuts to set the depth to exactly three and a half inches. So it should be the depth of our studs because our framing in there is two by four framing. So we'll set it to three and a half inches. So when we slide them through, um, it will cut it, it will melt it as it's cut. The, the cutting will actually be melting its way through it. So we won't have any of the mess that we would have trying to do it with a saw. And since we're going to build a jig for it, they all will come out exactly the same and our cuts will all be clean and perfect. Okay, we're all assembled now we have you can kind of see it yeah you can see it we have our nichrome stretched from our stud to our stud and this isn't a two by four but this is a one by four and you can see that we are right there where we need to be going across so we will get this hooked up to the battery and we will run our first piece of styrofoam through and see how it works All right, moment of truth. Like butter. As you can see, that is just a beautiful cut. Any uh, any imperfection was my fault, not the fault of the, the cutter, but it's pretty flat. Well, we were able to get everything dialed in with it perfect, getting the styrofoam cut down to the exact widths that we were gonna need to get them to fit perfect in the two by four framing that's going on inside the cooler back there. So got the cutter brought back over here to the sugar shop, got a whole bunch of them cut out and actually got quite a few of them laid in place inside the cooler. So you can see they're fitting in pretty nicely. 
the walls. Um, you know, there are some, some gaps that are going to have to get filled in, but we knew that was going to be the case. There's some more cutting down that's going to have to happen. But got the floor done and going to be able to use some of the whole 12-inch blocks up here in the ceiling. So I do realize this is a pretty niche situation. How often are you going to need to be cutting down big blocks of styrofoam? But I'm in that situation now, and I knew I did not want to cut it with a saw. I did not want to have to deal with all that mess. So this really did turn out to be the way to do it. Like I made mention of at the beginning, make sure you're keeping an eye out. There will be a build series on us putting together the walk-in cooler. So be sure you're keeping an eye out for that. If you enjoyed this video, think about hitting thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, y'all, we will see you.